Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Acrobat lets you convert multiple files into PDF documents at the same time. To do this, click the Create PDF button in the Tools Center. Next, click the Multiple Files option at the left side of the Create a PDF from any format screen. The right side of the screen displays three options. Click the Create Multiple PDF Files option button and then click the Next button. Acrobat displays the Create Multiple PDF Files dialog box. Click the Add Files button at the top of this dialog box. Notice that you can add both individual files and entire folders of files when using this feature. Select the Add Files command. Acrobat displays the Add Files dialog box. Navigate to find the file or files you want to convert. You can select more than one file by holding down the control key on your keyboard while clicking to make selections. However, that will only work if the files are all located in the same folder on your computer. If you want to add multiple files from different folders, you will have to add them one at a time. Once you've made your selections, click the Open button. The Add Files dialog box closes and Acrobat adds your selected files to the Create Multiple PDF Files dialog box. To add more files, click the Add Files button once again. You can add more than one file type to the dialog box. For example, you can add a Microsoft Word document, an Excel spreadsheet, and a JPEG image to the dialog box during a single Create Multiple PDF Files operation. You can remove files from the dialog box if you decide you don't want to convert them to PDF after all. To remove a file, first click on the file name in the Create Multiple PDF Files dialog box. Next, click the Remove button at the bottom left corner of the dialog box. Acrobat removes the file. You can also select multiple files to remove by holding down the control key on your keyboard while making selections in the dialog box. When the dialog box displays all of the files you want to convert to PDF, click the OK button. The Create Multiple PDF Files dialog box closes and Acrobat displays the Output Options dialog box. This is where you make choices about how your new PDF files will be named and saved. In the Target Folder area, you can choose between the same folder selected at start or a folder on my computer. If you choose the same folder selected at start, then the new PDFs are saved into the same folder from which you selected the original files. If you added files from several locations, each new PDF is saved in the folder from which you selected its original source file. If you choose the A Folder on My Computer choice, all of the new PDFs are saved into the same folder on your computer's hard drive. If you choose the A Folder on My Computer option, a text box and a browse button appear. Click the browse button to navigate and select the folder into which you want to save your new PDFs. The file naming area of the output options dialog box is where you make decisions about how the new PDF files are named. If you choose the keep original file names option, then the new PDFs have the same names as their source files except for the new PDF file extension. For example, if one of your new PDFs is created from an image named tiger.jpg, then the PDF is named tiger.pdf. If you choose the Add to Original File Names option, Acrobat lets you add more information to the existing file names. For example, if you typed the word Presentation into the Insert Before Text field, then all of your new PDFs will begin with the word Presentation. In this example, a new PDF created from an image named tiger.jpg would be named presentationtiger.pdf. Adding this type of signifier to new PDFs isn't always necessary, but it can be helpful if you are converting a large number of documents that you want to be able to keep track of by name. Be sure to take note of the Overwrite Existing Files checkbox in the lower left corner of the Output Options dialog box. If checked, Acrobat will replace the PDF files of the same name with your newly created PDFs. However, keeping this box checked will not overwrite the original files from which you are creating the new PDFs. It is a good idea to leave the Overwrite Existing Files box unchecked unless you are sure you want to replace any existing PDF files with the same name. After making your selections, click the OK button. Depending on the number of files you are converting, the operation may take a few moments. When the operation is complete, the dialog box closes. Notice that Acrobat doesn't open or display the newly created PDFs. It simply reverts to displaying the Create PDF screen. Click the Close Create PDF button at the right side of the toolbar at the top of the screen to return to the Tools view. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www. 
www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.